Welcome to The Art of Happy Her. I'm your host, Sandy. If this is your first time listening, thank you. Hope you can listen with an open heart and that you return. If this is not your first time, welcome tribe. As we all know, we always have an intention for the show. And today, I'm super excited about my intention. I woke up this morning and I was meditating and I was like, what is it? Why do I want Leslie here? Oh, I already gave it up. I gave up the surprise. <laughs> um, and um, what came to my mind was that um, I was reading the uh, daily devotional this morning and I thought about self-love and it was perfect. I think that um, the intention for today is to help us see ourselves in a way that only we can. Um, I know it's cliche because everyone is always talking about how um, self-love is the way, but until you have, until you're not in your self-worth and you're not loving yourself, you really understand what it is and what happens, how mag, um, you become so magnetic when you do love yourself. So today I want us to um, have this dialogue so we can um, help accept our, a true expression of love, a true expression of ourselves and become the object of our own love. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, I would like to also say that how, how I found, one of the ways that I found self-love was by um, writing myself a letter and um, mailing it out to myself and then reading it. It did not only help me um, express things that I never even thought of um, about myself, but it also helped me believe it when you read it out loud and and give yourself that romantic love that um or even that professional love or that mother love or that father love that was missing anyway so with that being said i want to um introduce my guest for today and she is magnetic and she's in, has an incredible sense of joy and she brings joy to everyone she's she's a digital creator she is a body positive influencer a comedian a dancer a model a fashionista um and an expander. And with um, all that being said, I want you to welcome Leslie Rodriguez. <laughs> Our own sound effects. And just so you know, Leslie and I did not did not talk about this, but we are wearing the same thing today. We're naked. We're fucking naked. <laughs> Yo, we didn't even talk about that. We did it. We showed up butt naked. We were like, I was like, yo, like, I'm naked. She was like, I'm fucking naked too. <laughs> and I was like, all right, fine then. This is perfect for today, right? <laughs> How are you, Les? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I'm um, a very big fan of yours. Um, mm -hmm. Aside from this podcast, like, I just love your being. We met in the hospital, guys. We, we met in the hospital, in the hospital working yes. a nine to five, literally, yes, literally, literally, literally. Mi and with miserable people, <laughs> with okay. miserable people. And we I were mean, like, we were like always trying to find that, that joy every yes. single day. Yeah. Right. And we did it through our, um, through expressing ourselves with our hair, with our mm -hmm. clothes, with our accessories. Mm -hmm. So we brought joy for ourselves by creating that for ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So when people were just mm -hmm. wearing their uniform and just, you know, looking very normal and mm -hmm. you know, not Average, that like bad, everyone else. But, yeah. Right. But that's how they felt. And that's yeah. what they, that's what they projected that. So we did not mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's that's where that's where I, I saw you, my soul sister, when I said, yeah. OK, this girl is cool. <laughs> no. Yeah. Cool. And you remember <laughs> when um, the first thing in the morning, the first face that we will see um, when we walk in is you because you were in the reception area. Yeah. And then, um, you know, people come in with issues, health issues or whatever, or concerns, and they already have their own um, turmoil. And the first person that greets you makes such a big difference on how you're going to feel, how the, the day sets, right? And the thing about you was that I used to walk in and you were always greeting me with such a beautiful smile and then always finding something positive to say. And we clicked, right? 
And I forgot to mention, guys, that she is in Nike ads and um, magazines. And lately, her (laughs) face was in a fucking mural. In a fucking mural. (laughs) And I'm going to come out in a commercial. So you'll be seeing me on your TV soon. And I'm so excited about that. Talk about manifestation and talk about um, uh, being intentional about, you know, the goals that you have in your life and being magnetic and believing in yourself. That's amazing. I am so happy and I'm so proud of you. And um, I know that the girls are watching and I know that sometimes as parents, we or as a a older person in your family, sometimes, you know, the kids don't tell you that they admire you or anything. They can't even put it into words. But I want you to know that they're watching and that even when they don't put it into words or even when they do, they'll get it later on. And you're that beam of light. And I'm so happy that you're showing us that. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. <laughs> I, I, you know, obviously, as parents, we do what we do for our kids, you know, no matter no matter where we are in our lives, whether we're working a nine to five or living our dreams, you know, whatever that may be for you, you know, we're doing it for them. And, right. and to show them that there's other ways, mm-hmm. you know, whatever way, whatever way that is, you know, to give them that opportunity through through you. Yeah. So I want to guide us back to um, the what we do at the beginning of the show for everyone. I want to know your astrological birth chart, if you know it, or maybe your your zodiac sign. It's fine. All right. So I'm a Pisces and I believe, mm-hmm. well, that's my, just my sign, right? Like mm-hmm. where I come from. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Who you are, and what star you're am. from, what planet. Pisces, <laughs> yeah. Straight up. I'm mm-hmm. uh, Pisces to the T. So if you listen to her last show, to her last um episode she described me to the t i actually hit her up i was like okay wow you did you did you were like okay um i just finished and i yes. just have to say you fucking yes. know my life exactly exactly <laughs> and then I'm, all, I'm also like um a gemini i believe i'm a gemini the bottom of the top the rising or the descending because i am ascending really the yeah ascending yeah so you show up as a gemini right that's that what way. that means do I you don't... fucking know what that means no, because I don't feel like that. Because my husband's a Gemini. Girl, wow. What do you mean you don't feel like that? You're a communicator. That's what Gemini's oh. do. They communicate oh. to the world. They're, yeah, they they like- network, and they're all about experiences. If if you meet a Gemini, they just connect you from world to world, from universe to universe, because they're they just know everyone. My husband. He's a Gemini? Yes, babe. And his ascending is a Pisces. We have the same astrological. We have, you no, guys, what? he's a rising Pisces and an ascending, I think we're um, Leos. No, not Leos, not Leos. Is it Leos? We have the same astrological, just different. The, yeah. the same things in between. Same, the same signs, that? the same signs, but in different. Um, yes. So your moon, your moon will be like um, what you... What you don't show us is how you love, is how you love, is how you mother, or um, what you think about to... or who you are behind closed doors, right? Okay, well that, and well, the that's ascending, the one... mm-hmm. that's the one I okay. don't know. Okay, so, and your ascending is how you show up to the world. And most of the okay. times um, when we're young, uh, like now you're a young woman, um, you show up and you identify more with your ascending than, mm-hmm. than your... Um, then your son, your son is, you know, your Pisces. So what yeah. happens is that the more in touch, the more connected, the more authentic you are, you become more of your son. Wow. You become more and more your Pisces. That's why I feel so connected to my Pisces, right? Like when I learned about the Gemini and the other one, I can't, I'm not going to lie, I don't remember what it was. But when I learned about that, I, I, I literally was like, oh, like, I literally, just because I know, I didn't know, you know, so I just related to Pisces, because that's what I am. And I feel like I'm just such a real Pisces, like, I'm just, like, to the T. I'm right, because like, you authentic. I'm not going to be anything else. Right. Yeah. Right. But you show up maybe to other people when you come in, you are a communicator, you, um, because Pisces, they really, uh, they really thrive behind the scenes. They're, like, very creative behind the scenes, and they make other people elevate like think of jesus christ like they come here and they make 
everyone else look their best, right? But That's Gemini, Gemini are in your face is, is that. Like they are already um, a star, right? Mm-hmm. Um, when, you see, when you see Kanye West, what, they believe in themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, when, and they, they have duality. They are both things. They could be dark and they could be light, but they don't work it in a negative way. It's duality. Like you work it um, with each other because that's the world. So you have amazing signs and we love that. And I want to do a little sound effect. Yay! <laughs> So the next question is, what is your cultural background? I'm Dominican. Raised like, in... Yeah? Your par- both parents? Both parents. I'm, I'm straight up Dominican-American. So you're first generation American? Yes. Just so you know, you're the first Dominican um, person I have in my show. <laughs> Although okay. I am Dominican. Okay. Que lo que, um, dímelo, uh, de lo mío, de lo uh, mío. You, wah, wah. I'm glad, wah, wah, wah. I am so fucking happy you're the one. I kept saying to my friends, I don't know when, because most of the creative friends that I have are uh, black, um, and you know, and I have a lot of brown, black and brown people, and they've come to the show, but I haven't, I, ha- I know that I have Dominican creatives, right? A lot of them. But I didn't know who would be the first one. And there you are. Look at You're it. my first. It's You're my me. fucking first. You're Soy my yo. first. You're my oh first. Oh my God, I'm so happy I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> so when are, your hi- when are you your highest self? When I am, when I'm creating, when I'm creating, when I am creating anything, whether I'm creating a meal, I'm creating, I'm hosting something when, when I'm giving to other people in a positive way, when I'm Makes creating sense. a difference. Makes sense. And I'm glad that yes. today we are creating for other people and that you're here. I wanted to talk to you about, you. cause I was looking into your things and into your account and I want to know how did you know you wanted to create content for social media? So all of my life, I've been a creator of things, right? I've been a performer, I've been an entertainer. You know, um, even when I was working my nine to five, I was making my coworkers laugh. I was bringing joy. I was, you know, creating a space for myself to maintain myself joyful. You know, although we were in a place where, you know, that wasn't uh, the vibe, you know, <laughs> like that wasn't, you know, that wasn't, the, but I was creating that for myself. I wasn't, you know, projecting what they were projecting. I was going to bring something else. And I did. So being in that fe- in that field and in that environment made me see that, that that was not where I belonged. And I didn't believe my, believe in myself at the time because it didn't seem obtainable. It didn't seem like I could achieve that. Like, where would I start? So thankfully to Instagram, you know, and that platform of social media, I saw there was an opportunity to just be myself. And, you know, at the beginning I was creating videos in a private, you know, profile with my closest friends and just allowing them to see, you know, what they already knew. And then I had a little push from my cousin. He was a manager of like different talents in that field in 2020. And he said, you know, and he said, let me give you a try. Open yourself up. I'll manage you. You know, let's start like, getting you to host and stuff like that. And I'm like, I never wanted to start on social media. I saw myself as a professional because that's the only thing I knew. So I'm like, I want to work. I wanted to be a model since I was young, but mm-hmm. again, did not seem attainable. But I said, I don't want to model on Instagram. I don't want to model for fashion. No, no, that's a problem. Not that my professional was a bad company. I just didn't want to be that person. I wanted to do things in a professional level. I wanted to work with an agency. I wanted to work with a talent agency. I was like, that's just what I know. I want to be led by someone who knows more. I don't want, I don't want to just throw myself out there. Mm -hmm. So my cousin provided me the opportunity to, to put myself out there and, and put my page, you know, public. And then I just started creating from my day to day, because like you mentioned earlier, I am an authentic being, you know what I mean? I don't know how to curate shit. Like I'm not a skit creator. Like I, I create on a daily, like I create in the moment. That's just how I work best and how I see myself best when I'm Mm -hmm. just not practice. Like, I don't even, I don't even schedule stuff. Like I'm very like go with the flow. 
um, which my husband hates that because he's a Gemini and he's a very mm-hmm. like, let's put it in our calendar. And I'm like, for what? Like, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I and can totally so, relate. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. So basically I, I took the opportunity that, you know, the push that I got from my cousin and, and I was like, okay, let me just start, you know, creating out of my day to day. And, you know, parenting itself is a joke. And that's how I started, you know, just like mm-hmm. ranting about, you know, being a mom and, and mm-hmm. there was people that were related and then dancing because that's just sick and nature to me. I want to be a choreographer since I was dancing since I was five. Like that's mm-hmm. just like part of who I am. That brings me joy. So yeah. just those things, I found an outlet and, and I was like, okay, this is where I'm going to stick to because this is what makes me happy. And yeah, I bring joy to other people by just, and you make us happy. happy. Yeah. And you make us happy, totally happy. And I'm always sharing, um, your things. And I'm always like, every time I see someone else dancing or whatever, I'm like, okay, I need to reach out to Leslie and see (laughs) how would she do this? You know? Um, because you have courage, you have courage and you have dance moves. So I have to say that. I have Um, some rhythm, right? And you have fucking rhythm. Hello. It's in my phone. <laughs> um, if one thing you can tell your subscribers about yourself um, that we might not know, what what would that be? What I feel like if you don't know me, what you should know about me is that who you see is is really who I am, and I really lead life through kindness. Through kindness, I, I am. I really am. A, like I am a mushy person. Like I'm very emotional. I'd rather like calm the situation down than add wood to the fire. I'd rather let you win an argument just so that we don't have to fight. Like, and I genuinely mean it. Like I just mm-hmm. am. I'm, I'm. I'm a good person, and I can. I can say that because everyone around me can say that too. Right, and you know, you, I just want to cry. Um, me too. <laughs> <sighs> And not because I'm being mushy, it's because um, for, it takes a lot for for me, for example, to talk about ourselves in that light. It's easier when other people say that about us. Um, but for you yourself, and not in a narcissistic way, but just know that you are kind, that that's the love letter that we're talking about, right? That's the love letter. And that's what you will um, always portray to others. And that's what you're going to bring to the table. And that's what other people are going to say about you because you believe that. And that's who you are. And that's amazing. <laughs> I, I, thank you. Thank you. I was actually with my cousin yesterday who I grew up with. Yeah, that's right. Who I grew up with. And, you know, she was like, you know, people ask me if you really are this way. And, you know, that's why I brought it up today. And I'm like, mm-hmm. really? They don't think that I'm just being me? And she's like, you know, they don't know. Yeah. And and I love to know. say, and she said, she said, I love to say that, yes, like, this is who you've always been. Like, you are, you know, and then that's why not only do I believe it, I, I am, I am, you know, you like, kindness, kindness is not something to be, to not be proud of. You know what I mean? Right. I mean a kind heart is not something that you have to sound narcissistic about. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. if, if I was telling a lie, then I, sh- I couldn't be saying this on, on here because it's like, mm-hmm. you know, whoever listens to that, yeah, right. Like, there's it's no like, you're, co- dude, you're not dead. So only when you're dead, people could lie about you and no one can say anything. But right now you're not dead. So if you say that you're fucking kind and then you're not kind, everybody's going to be yeah. writing under under the comment <laughs> sessions in The she Art of Happy know. Her saying that's a motherfucking lie. She is not kind. Okay? Um, she was a bitch to me. <laughs> she's a bitch. She's always been a bitch to me and others. Um do you discuss, well, you already said that, that you don't discuss um, your posts with anyone before posting, right? So you just do? Sometimes, sometimes I send it to my best friend, like, hey, when, I, when I'm dotting it, because I, to me, I create a thought. If I laugh at myself, then that's good enough for me. Like, if I could watch it multiple times and be like, yo, I'm crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love, I find myself funny, and to me, that's enough. But sometimes, mm-hmm. that's when I know the post to me um, that I'm not sure of, right? Because some things I create, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm second guessing myself. I sent to my best friend. You know, mm-hmm. she's never gonna lie. She'll be like, it was, it was alright. It could be funnier. It's alright. It's alright. So you know, I don't I mean? know, but uh, it's alright. <laughs> when that happens, I don't recreate it. I just don't post it at all. You know, because again, Period. I'm in. A, I'm a an authentic creator in the sense of I create in the moment. So if, if I didn't hit it, then that's enough for You're me. Like, I'm not doing it again Yeah, because it's not going to come out right. You know? 
Yeah. Okay. So and since we're both so yeah, naked yeah. right now. Yeah. Well, I uh, I have to tell you first of all before I go into the nakedness, um, I love your um content, but I really love. I feel that it's authentic and I feel that um, you don't run it by people. Not because it's not funny. It's also because I can I can see like there's a lot of things that other people would have edited, right? Um, especially when it comes to our image, um, how we look, our, our stretch marks, our cellulite. I'm not saying that you have. What I'm saying is I am myself, right? But what I find that when I, if I do ask someone, they're going to point out things that I didn't even think it was a problem. So right. I'm glad that, that you just put it out because it, it makes us see that those things are human and they're, and they're funny. They're fucking funny. The things that we, that we go in our human experience, they're funny. And I commend you for that. Um, I want to ask you something you. personal because I know as a woman, yeah. um, it's kind of personal. Um, I want to ask your size and, um, are you okay with the terms plus size model? Yes. Yes. And yes. Um, I wasn't at the beginning, you know, not mm -hmm. the beginning of like my modeling. Cause you know, obviously I knew what category I was going to be in, you know, but growing up, you know, the word fat, you know, the word gordita, you know, like that would bother me. That would be triggers for me. Um, so, you know, when I, when I grew into who I am, right. And that self-acceptance and that self-love, and that compassion I have for my body and all the changes that it's gone through, I saw there's nothing wrong with those, with those, you know, descriptions, you know, those are just words, you know, that doesn't mean that that's what I am, although that is, but it doesn't, that, that, that's not what I identify as. I am a beautiful woman and I happen to be of this size. I'm a 14. Um, in pan size and I'm, um, you know, large, extra large, it varies depending on the brand. So that's another thing that I've had to learn that I, because I'm a size 18 in this brand, doesn't mean that I'm a size 18, I'm a size 18 in this brand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I can be a 14 in old Navy and be a 16 in eight in an ASUS pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. Like I literally have pants from 12, 14, 16, 18. I have all of them. They all fit me. Me too. So I, I, that's why I like old Navy sometimes because I yeah. feel like extra small. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that makes you feel good. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I feel like when it comes to our bodies, we we should accept those things. You know, size does not make you who you what the what, what the number on the on the clothing doesn't make you it doesn't make you that. You know what I mean? That's just the size of that brand and that's how it fits you. And so many people shy away from shopping because they don't wanna up a size. You know, mm -hmm. they, they 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 don't wanna have to, you know, try on different things to see if it fit. That's going to, you know, it's going to trigger them. And I respect that. But mm -hmm. finding that, you know, again, that compassion with yourself, like this is where I am right now. That's mm -hmm. okay. You know, and that's, Lem and that's fine. Accept it. You know, it's it, you, only you know what size that is. You know, if that's, if you can handle you, then. Who the fuck can you handle know? you then? Right. You know? And you know what, that um, it's, I'm glad that you said that. Because um, we are sometimes our worst critic. And um, what I've learned is that I'm so good to myself that last, I think uh, last year we were in Miami, you and I. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew that you were there because it was like your birthday. Yeah. And, yeah. and Bay, you know, took you to Miami. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's here. I'm going to have her come over. We're going to get together, whatever. So we did that. And, um, you show up in your sexy ass dress and I had my sexy ass dress on yes. and guess you know what, that. babe, let me tell you, thank you. Let me tell you that now I look back and I'm like, yo, like I was my heaviest. I was my heaviest. It was like during when we were, you know, with the quarantine, whatever. First yeah. of all, last year. I started smoking weed at my motherfucking age, a la 45 años, right? So I'm smoking weed yeah. and I didn't even know how to handle it because I was eating, right? <laughs> happy. Happy and eating and at home. At home, happy, happy, home, eating and smoking, right? So, comiendo helado, eating ice cream at 12 in the morning. 
So it showed, right? <laughs> but let me tell you that I have never felt sexier than last year. Uh, the only times that I, what I realized is that the only times that I have felt this sexy was when I was pregnant at my highest weight. And then last year that I was that I was 150 pounds. And you have to understand that it doesn't sound like a big number, but for someone that's 5'3", and um, that's always been 100 to 118 pounds, 150 was a lot of weight, right? So I was 150, and I felt voluptuous. I felt like a fucking woman. And mm. I put on that dress, and mm -hmm. I was like, yo estoy linda. Yes. <laughs> Because you were. You were. Yeah. I mean, you, and I really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really was. And I was like, and now that people look at it, they're like, oh my God, you were so, you, you look different. I'm like, yeah, you can say it. I, I know what it is. <laughs> but I didn't see myself like that. I really didn't. Unless somebody tells me, I had no idea because I really felt comfortable. I felt very that's, comfortable. That's beautiful because you're sure who you are. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what, that's totally what carries not. you. That's what carries you. And I think that people... Again, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't think about that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you feel like a piece of shit, people are going to look at you like a piece of shit. That's what you reflect. That's how you feel. Yeah. And let me tell you, babe, last mm. year at my heaviest, I was pulling in the young kids, like the young boys. Like, okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But you know what? Look how you were feeling. You felt That's amazing. how I was feeling. Yeah. That's how I was feeling. There's no I doubt, didn't. but that's what you're putting in. And it's okay because at the time, like I said, there was other factors that were going in. And um, and that was okay with wh what was going on at that moment. You can't stop living. Yep. You, you, you can't. Go. Like, it's go. fucking hot. Like, si ta caliente afuera, what are you supposed to do? Like, wear a turtleneck? Because exactly. you have um, you know double chin? Like, you know, like, it's fucking. That's what people do. <laughs> Because yeah. they don't feel like they're gonna be accepted, but the, the the trick is the only person needs to accept you is you. Is you? Is you? So yeah. you know what? In that love letter that you that you were mentioning earlier, like that you read out loud to yourself, and that you you know that that you reflected. To, I say record yourself. That's what I did. I I, I hosted um, uh, Wine Wednesday, which is something that I do on my page. On Instagram, um, mm -hmm. I hosted a space and I was just like, you know, I was submitting for a modeling job and I had mm -hmm. to say things about myself. And sometimes, you know, like you said, you don't feel like you should be applauding yourself. Like you don't feel, you know, like you deserve that from you. Right. It's OK for other people to tell you, but you sometimes don't feel like you should be giving that to yourself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, who you think you, who you think you are, like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, Leslie. Mm -hmm. And I and I said out loud all the things that I accomplished and everything that I've done and what I do, mm -hmm. and I was like, "All right, girl, girl, like, girl? Like, all right, girl, You're like, girl." I didn't right. know I was like this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and and I feel like that's something that people should do when they don't feel comfortable with themselves. Just record yourself mm -hmm. for you. You don't need to post it nowhere. You don't need to share it with nobody. For you, talk for about you. what you do. You know what I mean? What are you good at? What are your qualities? Say it to mm -hmm. yourself. And then look mm -hmm. at yourself. Do you believe it? What kind of mannerisms are you doing while you're talking into your, you know, to the camera? Do you even believe what you're saying? You know, are you mm -hmm. proud to be this person or are you not? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are you slouching? Or are you standing tall while you're saying this? Are you mm -hmm. looking at yourself? You mm -hmm. know, like, are you like, oh, you know, you know, are you really believing? And when you do believe, nobody can take that from you. Right. Nobody right. can take that from you. And you know what? I'm glad you said that because, um, a lot of us, when we go through trauma, whether it's childhood trauma or with a loved one or whatever, we we tend to not not love ourselves because we're looking ourselves through the eyes of another person. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, like you said, and you point out, you could start out small. You could point out little things. You, then it starts growing on you. Then you start, it's fun actually. Afterwards, mm -hmm. you're like, I have beautiful toes, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. That's it. That's all I see, right? And Thank then that's you. it. It's mm -hmm. fine, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be like, Yeah, I have beautiful toes because my nails are so perfect. They're, they're 
squared and I don't have fungus and you start, you start, you start. And then it, everything else starts falling into place into your persona too. Like you start seeing your traits, like how you help others mm -hmm. or, um, how, you know, you're a good mother or a good sister or whatever it is. A and great friend. Yeah. And you start walking out into the world that way and attracting nothing but goodness mm -hmm. to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I appreciate mm -hmm. you saying that. Um, I appreciate have, you saying that to start yeah. small. That's beautiful because, sorry, miss. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I love that you said start small. You know, when they regard when in regards to like pointing out things like that, like whether it's with a toe or your, your hands, or maybe you love the way that your eyebrows are shaped. Like you can start literally like that. And mm -hmm. then you'll start finding more and more beauty in yourself and really mm -hmm. just have that love that you deserve, mm -hmm. you know, from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you. And, thank you um, for, for, for saying that. You're welcome. Um, uh, have any of your comedic performances been criticized big time? Have you seen any yes. like negative criticism? Yes, actually. Yeah? When I first started, when I first started actually, mm -hmm. um, when I was being, when I, when I first started putting my page out there, um, it was that one time that um, my manager at the time, he had an um, uh, influencer of that, of a, you know, he's Hispanic as well, repost a video that I put where I was like complaining about my kids. And then I did like a fake uh, kick in the air, but it actually did hit my kid. But not like, like really like, oh, knock that out. But kind of like, so what I got And it was funny because I really didn't hit her. You know what I mean? I would obviously really right. abuse my kids on fucking camera. But right. he reposted it and said, I can't believe, she, the way that he said it was, I can't believe she really kicked her kid. And it made it seem like I kicked my kid on purpose because I was complaining about parenting. And then I did the, it looked like I really just kicked my kid. And that gave me the worst anxiety. And I said, well, I can't fucking do this then. Because if I'm going to be criticized and ridiculed and people were like, oh my God, uh, there's really kids getting abused out here. And that was the first and only time, I will say mm -hmm. that, first and only time that I got, you know, made feel that way. Like, I was like, oh shit, like, but this is the beginning again. Like, I didn't know any better. I didn't know that, like, you know, like everybody has their opinions, everybody has their thoughts. Like, that's going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. But because I create from a place of joy and to give that, I feel like there is no room for that. There is no room for negativity because the mm -hmm. only thing I put out is positivity, literally the only thing. And and realness, right? When I'm not mm -hmm. feeling too happy, I have shared those moments as well, those raw and real moments, crying and mm -hmm. everything. Like, not to get pity, but to say, hey, this is, I'm not always just fucking laughing and smiling. Like, that's bullshit. Like, I'm right. a real person with a lot of emotions right. at that. Um, so yeah, that was the only and one time that I, I did may I did doubt myself, you know, like, oh shit, like, you know, like, uh, can I really just be raw about parenting? Like, you know, I was complaining, mm -hmm. but I really didn't kick my kid. You know what you're saying that makes me, um, it's like a trigger because mm -hmm. as, as a parent, you always have you always wondering, am I doing a good job? And then if someone else is like saying that you're not, it's mm. easy to get, to go down that rabbit hole. Not my parenting though, that's the thing, right? Like anything else in, in my life, I don't care. You could talk about anything, but not my parenting. Mm -hmm. Like not I'm a mother parenting. first, no matter yeah. what. So that really made me feel certain way. I even deleted the video or never reposted it again. Like mm -hmm. I just feel like not my parenting. Like not, like not something that I'm- Yeah, like a mama bear. Know, a whole mama bear. Like my girls mm -hmm. are my everything. Like I became mm -hmm. a parent at 21 years old. I know you were a young mom as well, right? Like yeah. how old were mm -hmm. you when you had your first? Um, Alan was born when I was 22. Same. Okay. 22, 21, 23. 20. As a young mom, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's very young. um, especially when you are not, you know, you didn't think about it. It's like, you know, so much, I don't want to be a mom all my life. Like that just happened mm -hmm. to me. Like, that just got mm -hmm. like me. Like I was like, oh Ooh. shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it wasn't like, yeah. mm -hmm. Surprise. you know, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I, I was blessed with a, a beautiful, you know, man who has been an amazing father, you know, all his, all through our I love Bay. 
I love, you love Faith. Him. I, know, I love that you call him that. I love yeah. that. I, love I was him. like, I hope she doesn't get upset that I always, Girl, when, every time I'm like, that's Faith. No, never, never, please. No, okay. I know, no. I know that you're a stand up woman and I know that you ain't about that. You know what I mean? So, no, yeah. I know where you come from. It's so. respectfully, actually. But, I know. Um, not is that, is I love the thing that is that him. he's such a like um, supporter of you and he shows you so much love and respect that that he's like what another bay should be emulating. So that's why I'm like, that's bay. So that way everybody else knows what the fuck is bay. Like I don't want, <laughs> is I, I, I don't wouldn't want to call like someone with red, a lot of red flags or whatever bay. Like, mm-hmm. no, right. I want, I want my bay to look like that. <laughs> yes. You understand? So I'm yes. calling and I'm like, that's bay. Yes. So that way my future bay sees like what bay looks like. Right. <laughs> I want to, oh, wow. um, one, a couple of other things. So yeah, yeah, you're a badass, and I um, commend your attitude. Um, do you? Is there any barriers that that you have to that you had to overcome to to have this attitude? Yeah, I, I had um, imposter syndrome. You know, I was projecting this confident queen, you know, all of my life because I really like been like a bad bitch all my life. Really, like I was, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah. 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 And not because, you know, I looked a certain way because my heart is a certain way. And I always, again, projected just this, you know, positive, joyful, funny, you know, vivacious person, like literally Mm -hmm. had the most friends in high school. Like I, you know, the hospital, like. I was friends with everybody, which is love, all they love, I love, you know? So that helped me, that carried me, but mm-hmm. not like the real, like how I was really feeling. Like, you know, when I was, mm-hmm. you know, drinking diet pills and, you know, like uh, drinking sleeping pills, like, you know, when I was mm-hmm. like, like going through things that uh, nobody knew, you know, mm-hmm. like, and it was like, I was, you know, addicted to anything, but I was hurting myself. You know, Mm -hmm. and trying to be something else when I was already, you know, being my best self, basically, in front of everybody's eyes. Like, I was doing the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So that, I had to overcome, you know, that feeling of, like, you know, are you good enough? Like, are you really this person? Like, yeah, you are. Do you really belong here? Right, right, right. Like, are you you capable of more? Right? Just as I've been an influencer for two years, right? And Mm -hmm. I, I started my influencer journey two years ago, and I have been steady growth, growing. I've had steady growth and I'm growing for the past year, which Mm -hmm. also, you know, goes hand in hand with the modeling. I have a year now in June. And Mm -hmm. I feel like this year has been the the year of growth for me. Mm -hmm. And even again, you know, just a year of really like seeing my worth, seeing my, what I'm capable of stepping into places where um what is not normal for me and still shining as bright mm. you know what i mean still standing you know at my own pedestal in my own pedestal you mm-hmm. know and mm-hmm. not doubting that you know you belong Girl. here Girl, i belong you there belong here yes you belong yes here. yes mm-hmm. and and so yeah, so it wasn't until a year ago that I can say that I really stepped into the bad bitch that you see today into in front of you. <laughs> naked. Naked I'm naked baby. <laughs> naked baby. Um how do you I wanted to ask you, how do you balance self love and like um and romance, right? But but no, I just thought about Bay, so I'm gonna take it there. <laughs> take it. Um, how does Bay support you and your brand? Because I think that's important to have a companion that that supports you. Because it's it's fucking hard to just mm-hmm. be your own supporter. It's great and it works out, but if you have your companion, and I'm just assuming, I don't know if if Bay does support you, but I. But I assume that he is supporting you because um, that's, I feel like when you have that support, that's when you're, you really take off. When you support yourself and you have someone that supports you, um, it's easier, no? Yes, How does he yes. support you? So I'm going to be, you know, real and raw, you know, my, my bae, 
is mm-hmm. a real technical person, right? Mm-hmm. So he's like, I'm not supporting you until I see you really putting in work. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be applauding everything you do, sis. Like, I'm not Tough. doing that. Like, yeah, <laughs> straight up a Gemini, si, como duro, like... And it's mm-hmm. tough because, again, I'm, I'm a Pisces and I'm a very emotional person. So I need to hear it. I need to see it. I need to feel it. And he's very much like, yeah, you know, like, haha, like, I don't know. Like, what you want me to do? Like, type of attitude. That's at the beginning. Mm-hmm. When he saw me really putting in the work and seeing that belief in myself that I was not second guessing, I wasn't asking, I was just doing. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. said, now I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to join this boat now. And now... The way he supports me is by letting me be me, by not by not putting any obstacle in between that. You know what I mean? By not giving me, uh, no, you can't post that. That's too sexy. You know, just do what you do. Continue to lead with the love that you lead with is what he says. Continue to believe in yourself, and I'm going to continue to believe in you. And I feel like that's the best type of support because he's not adding his thoughts. He's not putting input. You know what I mean? Although he's a natural born leader. So he's like, he wants to like take control. He's mm-hmm. like, this is, yeah, this is your space. And, and I want you to be you. I want you to continue doing you. Whatever you're doing is working out for you now. And I want you to, I want to be there to support that. And mm-hmm. the way he supports that is just, you know, by being there for me, you know? Yeah. Um, I want to thank you for coming in today and talking about your journey and also sharing with us uh, vulnerable um, things that we all understand because we're human. But definitely for sharing every day the content that you do with us because you bring us joy. And also when you're real, when you're real and and I've seen the crying, you cry pretty, so it's okay. Um <laughs> So it's like, it's a eye, it's a eye, because you cry pretty. So it's Yo, like, eh, you need to cry a little bit uglier, so that no, way we can really I'm feel that me. shit. Yeah. But I want to, <laughs> but you cry pretty. But I also want to say your girls are beautiful. Esa chiquita, I fucking love her. I um, a Scorpio queen. She's the Scorpio queen, for sure. Yes. Yes. Um, And I also want to say that you're magical and... You're amazing. And I'm just not saying this. I'm saying it because I've been in your space. I've been in your in your aura. And you bring nothing but realness. And I thank you so much. Thank you so much. We thank obviously, you. I have the same admiration for you and what you bring to everyone around you as well. I love you. I love you. And I, I thank you so much too, for having babe. me here I today. I love you too. And I'm so happy I was the first Dominican too. Like, sure is, baby hello. girl. Sure is. Hello. hello. And naked. Exactly. <laughs> I love that we okay, showed up guys. today. <laughs> I know. This is so weird, right? Um, I want to invite you to review and rate this podcast. If you are part of the LGBT community or the wise, 45 years old and older, excuse me, <clears throat> community please let me know how can i support you include you in our conversation email me at the art of happy her at esc the network.com or dm me i've been told i am very responsive to my dm you sure ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> um and have a magical week tribe we love you see you next time yes, bye bye